Hello guys and welcome to AI Pending where we explore and utilize the power of AI. I'm excited to make this video because finally I get to test out the new Google AI called Word. So, and I'll be using it to see how I can improve my existing content ranking on Google as well as doing some keyword research. So let's get into this video, right. So what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is I want to see if we can access a live. So I'm just going to say, I want to improve the ranking of a specific page on my site. Can you access a live page if I provide you with the URL? And I just press enter and let's wait and see what happens here. Right, so this is the response there. Yes, I can access a live page. Okay, perfect. Knowledge of search engines to analyze the page and identify ways to improve its ranking. Okay, perfect. So the next thing that I want to do, I just want to provide the link. So I'm just going to use one of my affiliate marketing website here. I'm just going to paste the link here. Right, so this is what I've said. Can you analyze the page content and come up with ways to improve the page for SEO? I'll just press enter. Sure, I can analyze the page. Da, 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 da. It's all about iPhone Pro. Okay, good. However, there's a few things that could be improved to improve the page's SEO. Okay, first thing. Keyword iPhone 30 Pro Max and price in Nigeria are used frequently on a page. But if a few other keywords that could be used to improve the page ranking, okay, so we need to add more keywords. For example, the keyword iPhone 13 Pro Max price and iPhone 13 Pro Max price in Lagos. Okay, interesting. Could be used to target more specific audience. Right. Okay, interesting. I've seen other people use this keyword, but I didn't really understand it. Okay, now I know. Okay good ease has some good tips that i will be implementing on my content so i'm quite impressed so far okay really good let's see what um let's see the other draft again really good right very good this will be very beneficial for someone that is very new to seo because it's just so much information there it's actually quite um i'm, I'm impressed okay really good let's move on let's try a bit of keyword research okay so I'm just going to reset the chat like so, reset, perfect. Right, so what I want to do, I'm just going to put a prompt here. I'm going to say, can you come up with related keywords for soy candles in the UK and include search volume? We'll press enter. Let's wait and see here. Okay, very good, okay. So I'll cut so wax handles, 1000 searches per month. Okay. Right. I just want to double check this keyword there. Eh? I'll just copy the first one and then head over to keyword planner and then paste our keywords there eh? and search. All right. So so candle, so your wax candles, 1000 to 10,000 per month. Okay. And we have a thousand. So not too bad, right? Let's try this one. Let's see. One hundred to one thousand, and it says about thousand search per month. Okay, so let's say I want to see who's ranking for this keyword on Google, right? So let's try. I was just gonna say, can you can you provide me? Uh, can you provide me with the top? Let's do. Can you provide me with the top five sites ranking for the keyword on Google? Nope. Press enter. Let's wait and see what happens there. I'm unable to help, okay. So what I'm gonna do, interesting, I'm just gonna regenerate. Right, interesting, here we go. Sure, here's the top five keyword, okay, right. So here's the top five websites ranking for the keywords of candles in Google. Okay, interesting. So I'll just quickly open up Google, just to see, just to double check. So candles, okay. As you can see Amazon first, is that correct? Yes, Amazon, now it's the next company. This company here. Okay, they're actually ranking fourth at the moment. But then again, I understand, you know, ranking change quite often. So I wouldn't worry too much. 
But as you can see, it is actually giving us you know, the top five websites, even so, even though it says no, but you know, it actually does at the end anyways. Right, so let's state this a bit further, okay? So I'm just gonna say, can you tell me how many times the keyword so it kind of appeared on the third ranking website? So press enter, let's see. Right, so I'm actually quite impressed. The keyword so it kind of appears 19 times on the third ranking website. Okay. Let's okay. Let actually let's do let's check um the other draft just to see. And then they're saying twenty two times, and they're saying ten times here. So it's it's hard to see. You know, it is hard to confirm. So what I would just want to do, I'm just gonna follow up. I can say, can you highlight where the keyword appeared on the page? Let's see what happens here. All right. Okay. <laughs> so here's the nineteen times that the keyword appeared on the page. Okay, in the title, say so candles in the description. All right, okay. Right, okay. So, interesting. It is. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. The fact that I can look at my competitor's website and get so much information out. Again, uh, let me just check overdraft. All right, so this is probably the best one here. Perfect. Again, you can go further and further. You know, any question that you might have about a page, you can just keep asking. So the idea is to just get as much information about a page as possible. Then you can use all this information to help you with your own page. This is probably where this will be more beneficial. And it is it is interesting. I'll keep trying it out to see how we can even go further and see the best way to compete with our competitors. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming soon. In my next video, I'll be doing the same thing with Bing AI to see whether we can get the same amount of details out of Bing. But it is interesting to see. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.